don't know. Can I start with the crumbs he left? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good start. I hope he, I hope he didn't pick them up off the floor. But. No, those, those fell out of his popcorn basket. So. He just said that was the best part of coming in here was the popcorn and the, and the Diet Coke he got. So. Um, we beat a good basketball team. I'm, 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 um, I'm excited for our growth today. Um, we faced two really good guards, actually three, but the two that um, we spent the most time talking about, and uh, Lauren, I, I remember his name now, it's Elmore, uh, and Burks, um, 11 turnovers from those two guards. Uh, that's, a, that's a big number for two guys that are exceptional at what they do. Uh, I thought we set a tone early. I thought Mark Allstork defensively was off the chart uh, early in the ball game. Uh, I thought our bigs did a very good job. We got split twice in the first half against Elmore, but uh, I thought we did a great job of just getting them to play in our space. Uh, what I mean by that is Elmore's terrific uh, when he can make quick passes to layups. Uh, we made them make long passes. Uh, we got them out, uh, you know, playing toward the half court line, and, and uh, that was to our advantage today. So um, we threw a lot of guys at him, DeMonte. Uh, then we threw the two little guys at him, and, and I thought we did a good job. And uh, then I thought Mark Smith defensively early uh, did a good job on, um, on Burke. So uh, pleased about that. Uh, this is a team that, as you see, they take. Uh, uh, 29 threes, they're, they're going to make some of those. And uh, uh, their actions are, are difficult and challenging to guard, but I thought we were active for 34 minutes of, uh, of the game tonight. And, uh, and I thought we, you know, we did some things. I think we showed signs of, of being the team that, that I believe we can be the first four minutes of the second half uh, were a change for us. Uh, we had not been coming out of the locker room very, very, very well. We came out. We had eight offensive rebounds in the first four minutes, and and uh, I told our team post game that's something we got to continue to grow on, and and do. Uh, we've got to get both marks uh, rebounding the basketball better. They've got to get their game to, literally on the glass to CJ's level, or AJ's level, excuse me. Uh, and um, AJ gets five tonight, and and uh, had nine the other night. Uh, those guys got to continue to help us on the glass. But uh, the other thing I'm very proud of: 19 assists, six turnovers. Uh, that, that's that's big boy basketball in a game that was full court, a lot of possessions. And um, uh, had we made layups and free throws, uh, especially the layup part, uh, that assist total would have been much higher. But uh, um, you know we got 19 assists on on 34 baskets, and and that's a good. Uh, uh, a good number, and that'll make me happy most nights. Questions? <clears throat> Brad, you've mentioned how you're hard on Kipper Nichols, and usually that's because you think a guy has a high ceiling. W what is his the ceiling? I don't know. We haven't come close to it. Right, you saw him get a rebound tonight, lead the break how many times? Now, if there's two or three of them, I wish he would have given it up after two or three dribbles and been able to go get it back. Um, you know, K Kipper is a guy that can step out and shoot a three. He's a guy that can we can put in isolations. He's a guy that uh, can post up. Uh, and, and his versatility is a positive for us. And uh, when I can get Kipper to, to not take a playoff on the defensive end, uh, man, he's... Um, because he's got the capabilities to guard literally four spots and in and, and some, and some games maybe five. But uh, uh, he's growing, and uh, I'll make sure and hug him on Thanksgiving. Or no, I'll, we play Wednesday. I'll hug him on Tuesday again, and, and uh, that will be after practice. And in the meantime, I'll continue to, to, to push him and drive him. Yeah. You said the other – Team was active for 34 minutes. Uh, was that the, the other six? Maybe when you called that late timeout in the second half. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, we got to learn to finish. Got to learn to make free throws, and you got to learn to play till the uh, uh, till the final horn. And and you've got to con there's there's no substitute for that. We we get so few days. I don't know what it'll be this year. 30 plus. To 
put that uniform on and play and go out there in front of our wonderful fans 18 times, 17, 18 times, and to not finish the game the right way. And we take a lot of pride in, in working really hard in, in practice and being everyday guys. Um, and it's, it's, a, uh, it's a winning mentality. And we have to, we have to, I'm going to demand that. I'm going to demand that. And, and, uh, um, and I expect that. And it's, it's, I don't, we don't, we don't play according to the score in terms of our effort. Our effort has to be consistent every, every single minute of the game. A couple of games ago, you talked about maybe uh, guys learning about scouting reports and understanding how they have to play. It seemed like tonight was a good test for that. Do you feel like, uh, that's just that maturity developing, understanding where they have to go and how they have to defend guys. And yeah, and I think that that uh, our approach yesterday was was really good. I thought we were really dialed in yesterday, coming off the game Friday night, which was, you know, let's face it. I mean, it was they knew a lot of those players, and it was a big game in in terms of uh, in their minds. And and yet we showed up yesterday, and we were we were really dialed in. I thought. Uh, uh, Jamal had the scout. I thought Jamal did a tremendous job of, of getting our guys' attention. And, and uh, uh, th this is a hard team to scout. This is not an easy scout. Uh, it was more about tendencies and, um, and, and, and trying to take away certain areas because they, they spread you and, and uh, they've got reads. Um, it's not a lot of sets. And it's just a, it, it's, um, it, it's about us handling our concepts. And I thought we did that okay for 34 minutes. Uh, Coach, you said your ba earlier this season that your biggest issue with Finky was him not shooting the ball. Uh, what did you see out of him tonight, would you say? I thought he was really good tonight. And I, I, I'm, I'm ecstatic for him in it, the way he handled uh, his ball screen coverage. I'm, I'm, that's getting away from his, uh, his shooting. But uh, uh, he's, he, he's an intelligent player. He's smart. He sees things before it happens. And, and uh, uh, new technique for him. Than what he's used to in terms of ball screens, um, I think he had one one foul where he got split and he reached. Uh, but um, you know, Michael's five of eight, three of four from the three. Uh, he's capable of you know thirteen to twenty uh, every single night, and he didn't he didn't get crazy with the dribble, which is something we talked about after uh, the DePaul game the other night. Um, so I, I was really pleased with him. Gosh, you guys are easy. Sorry, I, sorry to disappoint after uh, after Dan was here. All right, thanks, Coach.